What's up guys and welcome to Taxi Life. This is a game I've had on my wish list for a long time. This is a city driving simulator based in Barcelona. They've got over 200 miles of roads that are recreated in a one-to-one -one scale and uh, basically you're picking up passengers, picking up uh, packages, food, whatever else and delivering it around the city, trying to avoid hazards, trying to avoid traffic jams listening to the rules not getting tickets that kind of thing it actually sounds like a lot of fun so hope you guys are excited for this thank you so much to nakon and dare drop for the early access and for sponsoring this video the game did just drop on pc playstation 5 and xbox series x so if you guys want to check it out i'll have a link check out that top link down in the description and uh, without further ado we are going to start up a brand new taxi career. Okay, uh, player name. I'm going to go with Trevor. We've got our character here. A couple characters to choose from. Probably just going to go with this first guy here. A company name. Um, I'm going to name this in honor of Chels here. Curb Rash. There it is. All right, company logo. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so we've got different logos. I kind of like... I like the duck, but I kind of like the checkered flag. We're trying to do a good job, but we're trying to do it fast. We're kind of racing baby all right looks good to me we can confirm that move on to our next stage welcome Let's begin to the our taxi vibrant career. city of barcelona where history meets modernity in a symphony of architectural wonders from the bustling narrow streets of the gothic quarter That's gonna be to tough. the breathtaking landmarks the city has to offer your journey as a taxi driver begins Feel the sea breeze on your face as you cruise along sun-kissed beaches and embark on an unforgettable adventure. Embrace the spirit of Barcelona and become the most sought-after taxi driver in town. Remember but to first, rate five stars, please. Let's get you a taxi driver's license. Here we go, student driver. Oh boy, hey this there. is... Welcome to our driving school. Gonna be an adventure. Uh, before you hit the bustling streets of Barcelona to ferry people around, we gotta teach you how to drive first. So let's get started. This is sick. You have the option to skip this and head straight to the city by selecting the appropriate option from the pause menu. But hey, just a heads up. Learning the rules now could come in handy later on down the road. Your call. I'm here. Let's get our this license. This is the cabin of your car. You can look around and use the buttons that are highlighted. You can open, close windows, and use the radio, or AC. In the future, you'll be able to interact with the cabin to your heart's content. Right now, turn on the engine by pressing and holding the start button. Dude, this is cool. Very so all the good. buttons work. The engine is turned on, and you see that the dashboard panel is now working. There is lots of interesting information. For example, your speed and fuel level. Red and orange icons inform you that something wrong is happening with your car. However, your car is new and ready to go, so for now, you won't have to worry about that. Release the handbrake by pressing the handbrake button. All right. Very good. Now you can drive. Increase the speed by pressing the acceleration button and drive to the marker in front of you. You can brake by pressing the brake button and turn the wheels. Great job. Just keep in mind that the game will require you to make numerous precise maneuvers. Your level of control over the car will depend on the type of control device you're using. We're definitely going to check this out with the wheel has been too. Designed to point. enable you to navigate through narrow streets. Look at how much you can turn the steering wheel. It's worth noting that the steering wheel and the car's wheels turn slowly at the start and then pick up speed as they approach their left or right limit. If you're ready, Park the car in the marked space in front of you. Of course, you can change the view by pressing the view button. All right, so we're going to pull up to the space here. We are for sure going to be rocking the wheel at some point. Wanted Excellent to start off with this work. first one on controller, You've but... You've got the hang of controlling the car. Just a friendly reminder, when driving in the city, it's important to use your turn signals to let other drivers know your intentions. Test it. Press the blinker buttons. So we've got Great. some blinker buttons here. Let's get here. back to the cabin view. Impressive. You can also use quick look features to make sure that a maneuver you want to make is safe. Test it. Press the quick look buttons. Excellent. You can also look back and lean forward for a better view. Test it. Additionally, in the cabin, you can use Very some cool. buttons, but all functions available here are also available directly from your steering device or from the radial menu. 
Press the radial button to open the radial menu. Now you can navigate through it with the tab change buttons. To choose each option, press the action button. To exit the radial menu, press the exit button. Remember that time is slowed down when the radial menu is turned on. Good. Okay, so we could adjust anything in the car here from this menu awesome. or from the actual physical uh, buttons in the car. Don't forget to keep an eye on the fuel level and remember that the car is susceptible to damage. <laughs> if any of the five icons that are linked to the car's endurance start to light up, y'all need to repair the car. These parameters are also shown on the HUD as bars. However, there is also one more bar, one parameter, cleanliness. Mm. It has an influence on the passenger's behavior and tips. Okay, you know the basics. Now you can try the car. If you feel ready for the exam, please park in the marked space. I mean, I'm ready to go, baby. Here we go. Let's see how this thing handles. Should we do some like slaloming? I mean, she she does have some some pretty good pretty good handling there. Let's run into a couple cones, no big deal. We made it. You drive along the curved line and park in the marked space. Drive slowly and control your position. Try to be in the middle of the line. Don't cross it. Now the streets of Barcelona are very tight. I think we're gonna get into some some pretty tough situations. So let's actually try to apply very ourselves good. here. Pretty good. Park in the marked space to start the next stage. All right. Let's practice parallel parking. Parallel parking. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Here are the steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move forward slowly. Once you reach the marked space, turn the wheels to the maximum right position and move forward slowly. Now see, if I do it differently. If you need any adjustments, slowly move the car backward and reposition the car to the left or right as needed. I pull up past it and then I do that. Very good. Park in the marked space to start the next stage bit of an aggressive reverse there but you guys get the the idea you pull up to the driver's side window and then you you back up let's practice perpendicular reverse parking you need to stop the car in the designated point here are the steps turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move backwards slowly once the car is nearly in a parallel position to the marked space straighten the wheels and continue moving the car backward Ensure that very nice easy peasy Park in the marked space to start the next stage Mark space all the way over there. Can I just skip to it? You need me to actually pay attention to the intersections and stuff here. Or are we just gonna send it? Can even get some drifting going on All right, we're here I think we, I think we were supposed to turn in and straight up. We got a little bit ahead of the game. We might be doing like a three point turn or something here. We'll see what happens. Let's try it inside the car. Let's practice making a U-turn in three moves. Follow these steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move forward slowly. Remember to stop before the car leaves the marked space. This turn thing does have a nice turn maximum. radius on it, not Very gonna good. lie. You passed the first part of the exam. You are ready to take a test drive through Barcelona. Sounds Before you me. hit the city streets, it's important to remember that you must abide by all traffic rules and regulations. By driving in a calm manner, using turn signals and following traffic signs, you'll be rewarded with XP points. However, if you break any traffic rules and get caught by a police patrol, you'll receive a ticket. I don't know why that makes me so Please excited. Remember that the standard speed limit in the city an hour, is slow. 50 kilometers an hour. Good luck. 50k. Oh, I was going to go test what that looked like. This is the final Here we go. part of your exam. You'll need to drive your own car in a real city to complete the test. Good luck. So this is our taxi to cab successfully here. successfully pass this exam, you must pick up a client and safely deliver them to their intended destination. Are you ready to begin? I'm Let's down. go. 
Open Let's fire the map this thing up. by pressing the map button. This is where you can find available jobs. Using the steering, great job. In the pop-up window which appeared, you can see the job details, including the pounds. amount of money you'll receive Euro. and the XP reward. Read it and press the accept button. Okay. Half a kilometer distance here for Excellent. 100 euro. You've taken your first job. Keep an eye on the orange bar located above the pop-up information window. This is the patience bar, and it will gradually decrease over time. Got to make sure we're on time for our the customers. The speed at which it decreases will depend on your passenger's temperament and, most importantly, your driving style. Avoid breaking traffic rules, as this may scare the client. Remember, the client won't wait forever. And note that the final destination will not be immediately available. It will only be revealed once the client is in the car. Okay, now you must drive to pick up the client. Exit the map by pressing the exit button. Follow the GPS route you can see on the mini map to the marked point and park Turner, in the marked here. space. Go ahead. Do I need a signal getting out? I don't think we need to. We do have to remember the turn signals, honestly. That's that's gonna be a little bit tough. I don't know how I wanna do this. Do we wanna be mostly in first person or mostly outside? I kinda like the outside. I feel like we'll definitely play it with a wheel and play in first person sometimes as well. Oh, we're going way too fast. Let's slow down. 46 miles an hour, 45, all right. Do we need a turn signal? Is this a roundabout? I don't really know. I'm just going to go for it. So we're going to try to keep it under control. Signal to the right. I'm just going to sneak in here. Can't really tell if this is a lane. I think it is. All right, we're good to go. Here we go. Just keep it under 50. We are not trying to get any tickets or anything. This The first person view is nice because you can see the, the speed. Signal where we're going. We keep rolling back. Is this a manual? Why Why are we rolling backwards when we stop? You see when we let go? There's no like... We're just going to have to put the parking brake on, I guess. Here we go. I don't know why I'm so excited about this game, but this is so chill. Don't curb the rim. Going to have to get used to the turning radius here. We're going to pull up on this guy right here. And we are going to pick up our passenger. Even got a cutscene. How you doing, hey sir? Now you know where to go. Good to see ya. Drive to the destination point and remember to control the patience bar. Occasionally, a client may initiate a conversation. And depending on the circumstances, you may choose to engage or disregard them. Keep in mind that participating in the conversation could potentially boost your tips XP points, and even improve your current patience level. It could potentially go south as well. Got a green light here. All right. Did that just go from red to yellow to gr Oh, I'm supposed to be taking a left. Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> Didn't uh, use our turn signal there, but we also just completely cut across traffic. I think this is a one-way street. So we're just going to turn this way. Dude, this is... Why is this so fun? <laughs> <laughs> That's a red light. There's a lot to take in, honestly. It, it's not as natural as just straight up driving a car. Like, I feel like if you put me in a rental car in Barcelona, I'd be doing way better than this. But because it's a game and you got so many things you're thinking about, and time to go. Nice, smooth application of throttle here. Got to keep an eye out for the speed limit signs. Signal our intention to turn. I think we're turning in here. Got to watch out for the guy crossing the street. And we should be able to pull up to our destination. Thanks. Well done. Have a nice day. You too, sir. Very good. Remember to rate five stars. You Thank you. You completed your first job and passed the he exam. Did. Congratulations. As Made all 100 see, euro. You've earned your first money and XP points. The money can be used to refuel and clean your car, or even buy a new one. 
you can use XP points to develop your character. Now let's spend some money. See the gas station? Go there and refuel the car. We have to refuel the car? Okay. I really don't understand what's going on with the, the rolling back in neutral thing. This marks the conclusion of the tutorials course section. Taxi Life offers a vast and diverse world for your exploration. While the game provides guidance and tips, don't hesitate to venture out on your own. Utilize the map, test your car's functions, engage in experimentation. Enjoy the game. Okay. So we're going to pull up to the... What in the world? Oh, our parking brake was on. We're going to pull up to the gas station here. We're going to refuel up. Hello. I really do think this is going to be a lot easier on wheel. I should have just started there. But we have something to look forward to in the next episode. Press A to enter the gas panel. You have two options for refueling. Partial into the max. Choose one of them and exit the panel. Okay, so we're going to go fill it up. Okay, very good. You could use your charger for electric cars and car washes in a similar way. Now it's time to visit the garage on the map and go there. Okay, I I guess we just have to use the e-brake a lot more. That's not something I typically use. There are numerous icons displayed here that you can browse through by utilizing the D-pad. You can sort them according to your preferences. Among the options available, there are many tasks and interesting places to visit. Lots of them give you experience points. Some of them give you money. Select and route to it, yada, yada. All right. Find the garage icon and press A. So there's going to be, there's a few garages. Looks like this might be the closest one. Set that as our objective. Park the vehicle. Fire this thing back up. All right, here we go. And we are going to make our way to the garage. Can't quite make that. We're good. I mean, if there's... Eh, my bad. <clears throat> my, my bad. Not, do, do, I, do I stop and leave a note? I'm just going to go. We're going to pretend like that didn't happen. Um, if there's nobody else in the car, can I speed and kind of be a, a degenerate? We probably don't want to, to be honest. Overtake around the outside. Through goes Hamilton. Okay. Got a green light here. We can just keep going. I wonder if you're going to have like pedestrians and stuff that jump out when they're not supposed to. Like, I, I bet there's going to be some weird stuff. I want to I want to come in and, and have a passenger be like, yo, I'm late to the airport. I need you to gun it. That kind of thing. I've definitely done that a few times to some poor drivers. But I'll be honest, I always end up hooking them up pretty well. So I don't think they're too, too upset about it. Going to be taking a left here. Just going to blow through the crosswalk. What's the, the situation here? Is this just a, a yield? How far out do we put? I'm not, I'm not from this part of the world. Um, that was kind of odd. I think that was a yield situation. I'm not sure. Got somebody on the crosswalk. Obviously, pedestrians get the right of way. Let's get back inside. Inside's kind of a vibe. Yeah, I wonder if you have like jaywalkers, kids that run out chasing after a ball like I mean I don't want to get dark here but there could be some interesting stuff that happens made it to our garage here in our garage enter it all right let's see welcome to the garage this is where you can service your vehicle purchase and sell cars or components and personalize and enhance your ride here you can repair the whole car keep in mind you could also fix individual parts as needed just remember these repairs can only be performed in the garage you can also refuel or charge a car here and clean it cool so we've got 97% on the engine, 96% on the brakes, 97% on the steering body, everything. It looks like things are just going to slowly um, decrease with time. Looks like we've got a few different cars we can choose from. So this is our sedan here. There's like a little SUV thing. Interesting. Oh, there's that's a Tesla Model 3. That's kind of cool. We could get a Mercedes. All right. Obviously, a lot of these are... Uh, locked for now. We can upgrade the engine to a premium engine for $1,000. Boosts your car's power. We need to be level 5 for that, though. You can increase your brakes, increase your tires or your gearbox. You can change your cabin details, your upholstery. Okay. 250 euro to, to do that. This is interesting. Change up your gear stick. 
as well as your dashboard decorations. I, I wouldn't mind like a little dog or something. I don't know. Could be interesting. And then resting. There's a partial rest. You can also level up your driver. You're in the progression panel. You can see all the perks you can unlock. So what kind of perks? Discovering monuments and points of interest gives more experience. Using car stations takes less time. It's cheaper. I think cheaper would probably be a good one. Can I get that? Actually, to be honest, I feel like this would have been better. One ticket per day is canceled except for a ticket hitting a pedestrian. You can save money on this. That probably would have been the best thing for us. But that's okay. It looks like we might be able to hire drivers. We could see our total stats and stuff. Dude, this is... This is pretty cool. Okay. Um, we are going to back out of here. I say we go take our first job. There's actually one just across the street. Leah Chavez. Easy drive. Sounds good to me. She's right there. Is this a one-way street? I can't really tell. I think it is. I'm going to fire this thing up. Release the handbrake. And we're just going to try to pick her up. We're going to park in the bike lane to pick her up. I feel like that's a bad idea. But I guess we've got to get off the road somehow. How you doing, Leah? Good to see you. Oh, sorry. I forgot to put the parking brake on. That's my bad. Dude, that is something we really need to get used to. Okay. Um... Leah, would you mind if I just... There's something big on the window. Use wipers. Okay, not a big deal. Let me get my radial menu. We're going to go in additional car systems. Wipers. Okay, we got them on. Leah, would you mind if I just... I don't know backed up a little bit here because I feel like it's going to save us a long time of going around the block. Let's just pretend like nothing nothing ever happened. I'm just going to pull out in the middle of the intersection. We're going to go forward. You good with that? I'm good with that too. Okay. Going to save you a lot of time on your trip. Going to save you a little bit of money. We're not going to have the distance factor in there. Got a 2,500 meter trip ahead of us. See like here, we're in neutral. It doesn't like automatically break. I don't know if we should be doing something different or how that works. She's chilling in here. Okay. Here we go. Sorry. Uh, new car here, Leah. I'm just trying to try to get used to it. Are you, are you good with the wipers? Oh, we're supposed to be taking a left. My bad. You good with the wipers? Oh, her patience is wearing thin. We're going to be okay. Let's just... Let's pay attention to all the things, Trev. We're good. Pay attention to all the things. So if I go here, I like that it slows it down, to be honest. Additional car systems. Can I turn this off? How do I turn it off? There we go. Okay. Going to try not to hit any Vespas on the side of the road. Would you care for some music, Leah? This is oddly quiet. But honestly, as a driver, I think I would appreciate that more than the talkative nature of some guests. Pull ahead here. Probably shouldn't turn into the second lane, but it's okay. We could have potentially picked up somebody else right there. I guess you could have two people in the same ride. I don't know if that is a good idea. Here we go. Not going to go over the speed limit. Just gonna drive normally. Nice, easy break. Little coast along here. Save a little bit on our fuel consumption. Looking all right. Kind of wish you could zoom the map out a little bit so we could see how we're turning in the future. Probably shouldn't be squealing the tires every time we stop. Ooh, see how it goes back? Do we really have to put the E? There's got to be something. There's got to gotta be something. Maybe we're just driving a manual. We are in Europe after all. Here we go. I'm going to get in the right lane. Hopefully you don't mind, Leah. Uh, just kidding. We're going to want to be in the left lane. <laughs> Somebody will let us in, I'm sure. Am I going to let us in? Beautiful. Okay. Keep that thing going. Don't run into him. That was really close. Turn into the close lane. Okay. She, seem, she seems okay with that. 
I'm assuming we're going to want to be in the right. Because our destination's off to the right. Looks like we're going to be getting on some sort of a main thoroughfare. Got to keep an eye on that. That light. That is so interesting that they go to yellow and then to, to green. I feel like that would not work in the U.S. People are way too impatient. They would start... Am I supposed to stop here or back there? Probably back there, huh? They would start going on yellow, and then they'd, there'd be way more T-bone accidents for sure. Stay in this lane. And if you guys are, are from, you know, Spain or really anywhere in Europe... Ooh, we got a 70 mile an hour zone now, baby. We can really see how this thing cooks. But if you guys are from there and I'm doing anything wrong, please let me know. Obviously, the rules of the road should be mostly the same, but you never really know. There's got to be a cruise control button. I'm excited to play this on the sim and potentially... Whoop, got some slow traffic over on the right lane. Potentially, uh, like, map cruise control buttons and turn signals and stuff like that. I'm actually... I'm. Looking at a, a pretty serious sim upgrade, that's a stop sign. That seems really dangerous on a 70 kilometer road. But I'm looking at a pretty serious sim upgrade that we might actually have some turn stocks and I want to play some farming sim and all kinds of stuff. If people actually listen to the rule of the road, I like that they, they started rolling on the yellow there. I feel like traffic might be a little bit better. That was much too close for comfort. We're back to 50 here, Trev, because we're in town. Sorry about the, the hard braking there. Got to make sure we put our e-brake on at all times. 909 meters to go. Her patience looks pretty good. Even that person on the left there kind of slammed on the brakes a bit. You going to the beach, Leah? Seems like you might be headed to the beach. Something over here. Right turn so, signal. how are you enjoying driving around Barcelona? Um, I oh, like it. I'm loving it. There's just so much to see in this city. What makes driving here so special for you? Uh, it's the architecture. The modern and historic buildings make for a truly unique experience. What's your favorite part of the city to drive in? I would say the seaside air. The views of the Mediterranean are simply breathtaking. Oh, I love it too. It's an interesting conversation. It bought us some brownie points with her. And it looks like we are quickly approaching our destination here. Ooh. Bump! Sorry, Leah. You good, girl? Watch the top of your head. Bit quick there. But we're okay. 400 meters away. Dude, this is epic. Honestly, I feel like a... I mean, we're... Are we driving too fast right now? What's... What's the speed limit here? I have no idea. I haven't seen any signs. Bump! Our patience isn't going down, so... It makes me think we might be okay. This kind of seems like a... Somewhat... Quicker road, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to pull off to the side here and it drop you off. It was pleasure riding with you. Thank you for your service. There it is. We got a $54 tip. I tried to put our e-brake on and I skipped over that. Let me, can we see like previous sales or something? I think she was going to give us a five star. I, I would assume that she would have gotten us a, a five star there. Okay, so we have... Potential pickups right next to us. Let's grab this one. That's going to be back behind us going the other way. I'm going to be a naughty, naughty boy. And we're just going to quickly throw a, a Yui out here so we can go and pick them up. How you doing? Barcelona's best taxi at your service. Stopping the thing. The power is always rolling Whoa. backwards because I don't hit the, the thing. How you doing? All right. We're heading out. Drive to the destination point. What's our drive looking like? 1.14 kilometers. 
gonna see how fast we can go here. I would imagine not too fast. Bit fast over that speed bump, Trev. You go back there. Oh, we got a couple people. I didn't even realize that. I've met some cool people in Ubers, but it, it is very few and far between. Obviously, I really appreciate the service, but I feel like the small talk in like Ubers and Lyfts and stuff is, is always kind of painful. So I try to be a nice guy, but sometimes it just leads to some really interesting conversations for better or for worse. Sometimes it's better to sit in silence. I usually try to feel it out, try to see what their vibe is. I don't know. If I was a driver, I'm not sure what my preference would be, to be honest. Almost an accident right there. You guys see that? That was wild. All right. I'm kind of tempted. What happens if we... I mean, I don't want to get a ticket. What happens if we full bore over the speed bump, handbrake around the corner? Oh, almost. Almost. Y'all getting queasy back there? I'm going to get you there as quickly as I possibly can. Ah! What the hell are you doing? My bad. Sorry about that. Okay. Um we're we're going to we're going to get this back under control. Dude, it it's kind of a little bit sketchy, I'm not going to lie. What if we did like a controlled Oh. The ride's over with already. I was going to say like a controlled speed where it was fast but it it wasn't chaos. There it was it is. such a pleasure riding with you. I would assume four stars here. Client patience was 81 out of 100. Our next pickup's going to be back behind us. Technically, we're supposed to go all the way down and turn around, but I f feel like time is money, and we just don't have the time for that. So we're going to flip a U. Eventually, we're going to get caught by the cops doing stuff like that, but for right now... We're looking okay. Watch out for the pedestrians. She was going to cross the street. She turned around and said, never mind. Shoot the gap. Alright. Overtake on the left. That was a cop that just passed us right there. <laughs> I think if you're solo, you can kind of do whatever you want as long as the cops don't see you. This should be a short ride here. Hi. How you doing, sir? Let's ride out. What are we looking at? About a kilometer distance. We're going to get you there in no time. How you doing? Got a couple people in here again. Going to try to keep it a little bit more under control this time. Speed bump! Sorry. <laughs> and then floor it. I mean... I kind of, we're going to want to get to the left here. Let me, let me just, let me just sneak in here. Thank you. Just going to stop on the crosswalk. Probably going to get a ticket for this. Can we, how does this work? Can we pull up here? Probably not. I would, I would think probably not. I think we're supposed to stay behind that back there. Okay. As long as no cops see us, we should be okay. Obviously those... People are gonna go next. We're good. We're gonna be okay. I'm just gonna take the liberty of. I I don't know. We don't have any. Oh, we do have stoplights back there. My bad. Okay. First day in the job. First day in Barcelona. First time overseas. Just a, a dumb American. I was gonna say I don't see any. Oh, they have a yellow before red too. Interesting. I didn't see a, a stoplight up there before. So how about this weather, huh? It's It's been pretty nice. We got a green light. Here we go, Trev. 0.65 kilometers. We might be looking at 100% patience ride here. Keep it under 50 kms in the city. And we might be okay. See, that is really nice. I would have typically probably come to a stop there because it was red, but the fact that it turned yellow, I knew that green was coming, so I could go to a little bit more of a roll. Let's beat this light. Just trying to get you guys there on time. Got to get over to the left. We're clear. I love that the mirrors work. Mirrors don't often work in video games, so it's nice that we have that here. 
Okay. Hood view's honestly kind of nice, too. You guys see, like, oh, we're, thir we're 30 miles an hour in here. We should probably slow it down a bit in these back streets. I'm excited to get some, like, weird back street jobs. But, yeah, the reflections on the hood are nice. This is technically kind of a back street job. Call me a back street boy, baby. It was such a pleasure riding with you. I think that might have been 100%. We were at 100 out of 100 client patients. We're leveling up, baby. Almost there. Nearest task is going to be a, an easy one. I don't want to take that. I want to take a difficult one. Let's see what a hard task looks like. We might not be able to get many hard ones. There's a normal. That's not bad. Oh, there are speed cameras on the map. I didn't realize that. Ooh, a hard task. 1.91 kilometers. I'm in. Now, our cleanliness is still pretty good. I thought that would be going down a, a bit quicker. But that's nice. So we're not going to have to go back to the garage that often to fix things up. I'm going to be a, a bit chaotic to get to this task. It's a ways away. There was one that was a hard one that was a little bit closer. So we took that one instead. We canceled on the first one. We actually... That was probably not the best idea. If I go to our driver stats, it's we got a, a job cancellation now. I don't think that's going to be good for our track record, so let's try not to do that in the future. Dude, this is brutal. Just everyone lined up in a line here on this back street. Can't go anywhere. It's She's, she's going to become impatient because we're going to take forever to get there. Maybe we should start driving towards the person before accepting the task. Please don't hit the pedestrian, Trev. Taking a left here. I mean, these back streets are kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Taking a right next. This is a vibe though. Like I, I, I could see myself, obviously this isn't the most exciting game in the world, but I could see myself just chilling and driving around Barcelona. All right, here we go. We might end up getting a ticket if we do. It is what it is, baby. Our brakes are going to be toe the F up. So we're taking a right, but then we're taking a left. So I would imagine this middle lane. Do we have anything on the road? I'm honestly not sure. Are we allowed to turn into this? I think so. Here we go. Just going to send it. These streets are so interesting. I love driving in Europe. It's just so much better than in the U.S. Fudge! So what do we do about this? I thought for sure he was going to stop when he saw me coming. Oh, boy. <laughs> Our grill's a little bit, a little bit tainted up. I guess we don't have to stop and talk to the cops or anything. That's nice. Don't run into the pedestrians. I really thought because he would see me coming, he'd stop, but bit bit more realistic I guess okay took a little bit of damage there I could have rear-ended him so hard right there good citizen yielding for the pedestrians get out of the way come on man horn blows does the driver he's just not going okay well I'm gonna have to go around then I don't know what's he's uh, is he gonna try to get out and fight me or what's what's his plan there I'm not sure here we go that's good do we have a handbrake button could could I like Tokyo drift around Barcelona pick it up passengers that'd be kind of fun we are playing with fire doing 80 kilometers in a 30 zone that was clean let's go baby there's actually like a little not a little but like the physics are good there's there's weight to it and it, it feels like the car is not meant to be driven fast like that like it, it's kind of easy for it to get out from under your control if you're clean with it you can keep it there but let's get back in our professional mode clean ourselves up we have a hard delivery let's see how this goes just pulling up screeching the tires on the curb good good first impression there trev here we go welcome we're gonna run into the truck nope 
Just barely not. Okay. How you doing? Good to see you. My name is Trevor. Welcome to Curb Rash Incorporated. Thank you for trusting me with your life. I don't know if it's the decision I would have made, but hey, at least you're saving a couple bucks instead of calling an Uber. So we're going to go straight here. We're going to want to take a left around about every American's worst nightmare. Come across this way. And then we're going to want to be able to go straight. So I think we want to be in this lane. What do you think about Barcelona? Uh, it's I a like wonderful it. city. There's always something happening. I'm sorry, but I don't think it's all that great. Really? Really? Why? The streets are I... often littered with trash and the air quality can be quite poor. I'll be honest, it is a little bit of a dirty I city. Understand. I like it though, Sometimes it's a vibe. It can be a bit over it was an interesting conversation. We got 100 XP and increased the patience for that. I'll appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know. I So we went... I only spent a couple nights. It was before our cruise. I really liked it. Chels did not as much. She didn't really feel that safe. I know there's like a decent amount of crime and pickpockets and muggings and things like that, especially in some of the really popular tourist areas. But you'll have that really anywhere. I mean, go to any major American city, you have the potential to be shot at. So... Um, I don't know, I kind of liked it though, like the, just how dirty and, and grimy and grungy and like all the buildings had so much character, like it, it kind of all felt like it was a part of Barcelona's persona, its character. So I don't know, I, I enjoyed it. You guys will have to let me know if you like, like Barcelona if you've been. Really want to go back, want to spend some more time, actually get to know the city a little bit better, but food was pretty good. People were pretty nice. Obviously, the, the, better throw that, that turn signal in in front of the cop. Obviously, the, the architecture is, is kind of the main selling point of it. Absolutely fantastic. Sorry, that's a curb. Oh, she didn't like that. Oh, slamming on the brake. She's not going to like that either. Okay. Getting sidetracked talking to my, my Twitch stream here. You imagine a, an Uber picks you up and he's just like <laughs> live streaming. Oh, we got to take a right. Is there a car there? There is. Not anymore. Might be a pedestrian. We're good. Okay. So I feel like they let you skirt the rules a little bit. If you put your turn signal on and you missed a turn, it's okay. They'll let you cut across a couple lanes without penalizing you too much. I'm curious what the evolution of the game is like. Like, are we going to level up and get a lot tougher jobs and... Stuff where they, they hold you more accountable, or... How does that work? We're up to 70 kilometers on this street. I bet we kind of start to learn the city a little bit, too, which is nice. So we'll get to know the streets and which ones we can go quickly on, and... Dude, that is legit. Yellow before green. I like it. I subscribe. Let's bring that to the U.S. We're going to have, like, 20 years of terrible T-bone fatalities, but at the end of that, we're going to be a lot more efficient... It's going to be great. People already don't really listen to yellows very well in this this country. So let's just put a, a yellow on the other side of it and just see what happens. It'd be like one of those Hot Wheel purposeful um, crash tracks. Just last, last one standing survives. Why did her patience go down so much? What have I done? I don't understand. What did I do to you? <laughs> Slam on the brakes. <laughs> All right, looks like we made it out here to the beach. I th I'm really confused. We missed our stop. Is that what happened? My bad. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna back you up here. We would have added so much time to the. Okay, got into an accident. Not a big deal. <laughs> Just a little fender bender, nothing to see here. All right, let's 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 see your, your moves, Trev. Here we go, pull up until it's, I wanna be inside. You should get your, your driver's side window there. Crank it all the way to the left, nice and slow. Crank it back. Put her in there. There it is, well done. 
I don't think she really appreciated that one that much. All right, you guys have a great day. So there you guys have it. That, my friends, is Taxi Life. We are off to an exciting start. Obviously, a lot to build here for our taxi enterprise, and I definitely want to check it out on the simulator. So if you guys want a part two, let me know. Again, thank you so much to Nakon and Daredrop for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check out the game for yourselves, be sure to click that top link down in the description, and um, good luck out there. These streets are unforgiving. I'll see you guys later.